Hi guys, I'm Smita and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things AI and machine learning related. In today's video, we are going to be kicking off part three of the natural language processing series that I've started on my channel. If you have missed part one and part two, you can check them out in the description box below. Part one was about detecting automatic chapters in audio and video format and part two was about sentiment analysis. The great thing about this series is that we're exclusively looking at audio and video data types. Without any further ado, let's get started with today's video, how to use machine learning in order to detect malicious content. So let's get started. Detecting malicious content is a really huge part of a lot of different platforms especially when it comes to social media platforms such as Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, etc. Whatever big tech platform you can name, you can be 100% sure that they have a team handling content moderation and being able to actually detect malicious content. Now, the issue is that detecting malicious content is not easy. In fact, it's a very expensive and tedious task even major tech companies like Facebook and TikTok really struggle with detecting malicious content. Part of the reason why it's so expensive and difficult to identify malicious content is simply because of the size of content that is available on these platforms. That is why it's extremely important for a lot of major tech companies to adopt machine learning practices to automate this entire process of identifying malicious content. A lot of companies have already started to do that. One such company which has already started automating the process of detecting malicious content in audio and video format is Assembly AI. And we're going to be taking a look at their API for today's tutorial. We're going to be passing this TED talk called A Vision of Crimes in the Future by Mark Goodman. We're going to take this TED talk and we're going to pass it through the Assembly AI API, which is actually going to be doing content moderation on this video clip and it's able to identify what type of malicious content might be actually spoken about in this clip. So such as accidents, alcohol, crime, violence, drugs, etc. We are going to be able to actually identify exactly what type of malicious content might be mentioned in this video clip by using this API. Before we get started with this tutorial, be sure to create your own account on Assembly AI's website so that you guys can get access to their API by getting a free API key. The link for that will be in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. And also the code for this entire tutorial will also be in the description box below so that you guys can actually refer to that. The first thing we're going to do is pass our video file to the assembly AI API in order to process. So first off, we want to import requests because we're going to actually send a request to the assembly AI API. And we are going to define a variable called endpoint, which is going to be the URL of the API Next, we are defining uh, JSON. This JSON will include our audio URL. You can use any audio or video uh, URL that you want to process. I'm going to be using this one of a TED Talk by Mark Goodman, A Vision of Crimes in the Future. Also in our JSON variable, we are going to set content safety equals to true. Next, we're going to create a headers variable, which will include our API key and the type of content that we are requesting from the API, which is of JSON. And then we can create our response. So you guys can go ahead and run this and please do replace your API key with the API key that you actually get from the assembly AI API. So this is the type of response that you are going to get. And this ID right here is the ID of our transcription. You can go onto the dashboard on your profile on assembly AI's website in order to check the status of your transcription, whether it's processing or it has been completed yet. So right now the transcription is still processing. 
Once the transcription is completed, we can go ahead and write code in order to retrieve the output for this transcription. In order to get the transcription result, we are going to create a new endpoint variable, which will now point to the link with our transcription ID. And be, be sure, sure to include, include your transcription, transcription ID right over here. And a header variable with our API key. And additionally, we want to store the JSON output into a JSON file called content moderation. And once you have written all of this, go ahead and run. The output should look something like this, but let's actually look at the JSON file to get a better idea of how our output actually looks like. To look at the content moderation analysis on our video file, uh, be sure to scroll to the end of the JSON file and that's where you'll see it. So this right here is the result of the content moderation. As you can see, these sentences have been labeled. For example, they have labels like terrorism or drugs or crime and violence. And also along with the label, you also have a confidence score and a severity score. Now a confidence score is how confident the machine learning algorithm is of this label. And the severity score is how severe this sentence is in regards to this label. So this is usually uh, the confidence score and the severity score usually is between zero and one, one being the highest. By default, the model returns any label which has a confidence above 50%, so 0.50. But let's say we only want labels which have confidence above 80%. How do we go about doing that? So let's amend our post request. We are going to introduce a new variable called content safety confidence, and we're gonna set that to 80. And if we look at the data in our updated JSON file, we see that our output only includes labels which have confidence of higher than 80%. So guys, this is one of the fastest ways that you can use an API in order to identify malicious types of contents in both video and audio format. And there's so many cool projects that you could definitely use this API for. There are so many other things that you can also do with Assembly AI's API. Let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section below and be sure to check out the links that I've mentioned in the video as well. They will all be in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.